your book is full of great stories. Mm. Um, and as you were talking about acting deputy leader and you know going into the house to question time. But what I was wondering about is you, you cite, for example, as far back as university, the fact that your professor said, you know, if you do the right thing with me, hey, I'll guarantee you get a good degree and other stories. But because you've championed women's causes for so many years, I wonder why now you would name that person or those people leaving the wives to deal with that when those men aren't around to defend themselves? Well, I thought it was important to put in, since I was, you know, writing the story of the situation when I was young and growing up, that actually, if you've got a few young women in a situation who are trying to go forward, trying to get a degree or trying to get a legal training, and you've got a man in a position of real authority and power, so this university lecturer, he could dictate what my degree was, and that would make a real difference for my future life. And I wanted to explain how, obviously, most men don't abuse their power, but some do. Yeah, and he was, like, more than there, 20 yeah. years older than me. I wouldn't have touched him with a barge pole. Because because you understand why, did you not, why did you not bring that but, up when you were fighting causes well, on behalf of women? I didn't bring it up at the time because it seemed inconceivable that I could complain. Nobody would take my view as a student against but do you think, a lecturer. Do you think that... But about naming him, do you want yes. to... So, basically, because there was only a small group of lecturers, I had to say which one it was. Otherwise, all the others would yeah, be like blamed. Say, right? So I, I, otherwise, I wouldn't have put his name in. Mm. But I had to put his yeah. name in. Otherwise, but actually, you know, he, that is, it does happen. And it was, I've got quite a few emails from young women who are saying, actually, that thing called sex for grades. I didn't yeah. even know yeah. it had a yeah. name. And actually, it is, still does happen yeah, a bit. It is so, something we talked about. I mean, not particularly that, but but saying that it's we're doing, running a campaign called Never Too Late to Tell that, you know, people who had been abused in, as mm -hmm. children, um, that there is help out there for. But listen, it, it's all in the book. There are all sorts of stories in there. Harriet Harman, A Woman's Work, is out now. And thank you very much.